Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, Lilium, ticker symbol L-I-L-M. Big drop today. With only a few days ago, we said it's set to fly. We had a lot of information around Lilium uh, set to fly, and it's dropped down. Why? What's going on? Well, let's explain it. We know exactly why. No surprises here. Uh, down 26% this week. Uh, over the month, it's down 242 When we are all bullish and everything else is green everywhere else, that's why my studio is green. I'm just about to hit an all-time high. I've just come up to $90,000. Remember, I started with 5000 no options, no no shorts, and I'm just about to hit 90 grand. Uh, consistently beating the market 85% of the time. I've just put a video out about it. Go and check it out. Um, right, Lilium NV, what is going on? Well, we, we, we got some good news, and then we ended up with some bad news. But it's not really bad news at all, it's, uh, if you understand it. Let's go and have a look. So tap the like button, first of all. If you tap the like button, if you hit the subscribe and ring the bell, please do that as well. That'd be very, very helpful. Right, so a few days ago, just uh, a few days ago, what a difference a day makes, eh? Lilium surges on advanced talks for high volume facilities in France. So we, we learned about this, first of all, we were all excited. Lilium was up 4.6% just a few days ago, pre-market on Monday after saying it is in advanced discussions with the French government on plans to expand its high volume production capacity in France of the Lilium jet, including potential government subsidies and loan guarantees. All going well. Everybody loved it, everything excited. And then, over the last 24 hours, things have gone a little bit pear-shaped. What's going on? Well, we know what's going on. Uh, this was out yesterday. Lilium launches offering of Class A shares. In other words, they're diluting. They need some more money. All right, they need some more money, basically, to build out their business. Now, when you've got a company raising money to pay themselves pay rises, like Virgin Galactic, we don't like it so much. When it's to build out the business, and we hope that's what this is for, we don't know, uh, then great, okay, there's a time and a place to raise funds. Sometimes you have to do it. It's it's It sometimes has to be done. You can't build the business unless you've got money. I mean, that's why a company goes public in the first place. Remember that. A company doesn't go, doesn't go public just so you can buy shares in it and it's all very nice and dandy. It goes public to raise money to build out the business so it sells part of the business to you so you can invest in it and that way they can get money to grow. So they're going to the shareholder again. So Lilium launched an underwritten public offering of the company's Class A ordinary shares and warrants to purchase shares, as well as a concurrent private placement offering of shares and warrants to, to, to purchase shares. In connection with the underwritten uh, public offering, the company expects to grant to the underwriter an option to purchase 15,000 additional shares at an a, a accompanying warrant sold in the underwritten public offering during the 30 days after the offering public uh, offering uh, prices solely to cover over allotments. Um, not much more to read on that. And then we had this news as well. Lillian prices, 150, 114 million financing. That came out just a couple of hours ago. And Lillian announced 114 million financing, including the pricing of a 40 million underwritten public offering of 38 million shares, 95,238 shares and warrants to purchase, okay, as well as concurrent 50 million private placement. So basically what's happened today, the stock has been devalued, has been diluted. So it's been devalued. So uh, you can buy more of it. So the value of the, the outstanding shares gets a little bit less valuable. That's essentially what has happened. Now, is that a good thing for you as an investor? Well, it's not so good if you're in the shares, in the shares yesterday, but it's good if you're buying the shares today. Uh, lots of good news around Lilium. Things are moving forward. They're they're looking like they're about to fly. We've just put out some really good information on Lilium. I'll let me just uh, put it on the screen for you. You can go and check this uh, news news out. Uh, just a few days ago, if you go into and I'll show you how you find it. If you go into my channel like this uh, and you go to the top and you type in Martin Lucas, this is how you find all the things at the ticker. Um, because we have done nearly 200 stocks now, L-I-L-M, so pretty much everything is is there. If we look here, 
We have a Lilium chart for you four days ago. You might want to go and check that out. Links above my head and down below in the description, you'll find the links. I'll also pin it to the comments when this video comes out. Lilium earnings, you want to hear that, but uh, we also got something new as well. Uh, Lilium set to fly two weeks ago. Some good news on Lilium. So we've had some good news. We need the money to do it. Perfectly normal. We've got a chart for you. Got all the information you need there to update you with all the latest information. So you need to check these out, the buy zones, the sell zones, and all the rest of it. So you're completely armed in what to do. But there you go. That's what's happened. So if you buy it now, what you're buying is you're buying a... Um, you're buying a business that uh, is primed to do well. It's moving forward. It's raised more money to do it. So now from here, I think this is an overreaction. It always is. Every single time people overbuy and they always oversell. Because when, when someone sees uh, some selling going on, they all jump on the bandwagon. That's what this whole game's about. Always lemmings running over cliffs, jumping off, buying too much. It's, just, it's the way it goes every single time. So anyway... Lilium, there it is. Lilium is, is oversold today. If you like the company and you've checked out those videos and those charts and all the, that analysis, if you like all of that, then today is a great, great opportunity because I bet you any money you like, it'll go up from here because it always does. Overreacts, sells off big time, and then people go, oh, okay, that was a little bit over the top. Now it starts buying back. But now you're buying a business with more money, to be able to do more and more likelihood, the, the, the chance of success has just gone up. Uh, so I like it. I like it. I, I, we, we, uh, we, we think that the company's going to do well. We think that the information is all good. Uh, and now the company's just got more money. So for the original shareholders, not so nice for them, but good for you. If you're buying it now, um, you do all right. Uh, let me just share with you the Lillian balance sheet just so you got an indication of what it looks like. Hello, what's this here? Stacy Bailey donated $2 through a super chat. Posted video in breakfast bar. Excellent. I shall go and have a look. Thank you very much indeed. Solvency, uh, 40%. Uh, well, that will have gone up now. Once this reflects, I would expect that to go up because it's now got more cash on the books. So in a week or so's time, that might go up. We'll come back and check. 19% profitability. Well, we know why that is. But look at the upside. 125% on the average and three, sorry, 258% on the, on the, uh, on the upside. Short interest, only a little bit. Um, so that it, that's not why it's, uh, that's not why it's been brought down. It's not part of the meme craze. It's down 5%. We can live with that. Um, that's all right. There's always some short interest in it. There's even short interest in Apple, believe it or not. So, you know, 5% is not bad. Um, so it's not dragged into the mean craze. It's, it's gone down as an overreaction, so we can live with that. What about insiders and inside trading, inside buying? Let's look at the sentiment on the stock. Um, the last 90 days, if we look at it, uh, there was 40% good news. Then it went to 40% saying, dropped back to 12 seven days ago on the news of raising money, of course. And today it's all, it's neutral or negative. So mainly neutral, if we're honest, 80% look. So no major hassle today, just people selling because of the uh, of the downturn. Uh, ma makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. All right. So there you go. There's Lilium explained. I hope that helps. Uh, if you like the business, maybe you want to buy it. Click above my head for, for those links. So you've got the Lilium chart. You've got all uh, the Lilium playlist. Uh, you might want to look at that uh, as well. Down below here in the description, I'll pin it to the top and also I'll pin it to the top of the comments. Over here, I'll put the Lillian playlist and another playlist I think you will find useful just down there. All right, until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.